This is a Squiz Kids podcast, your fresh take on what's happening in the world around you. Squiz Kids Book Club with me, Catch the Reading Bug, and my crew of reviewers. parents, teachers and librarians, but sometimes kids just want to hear from other kids about what's fun to read. The Squiz Kids Book Club podcast only has book reviews written and recorded by kids. If my crew loves a book, they'll tell you all about it. If they don't, they'll tell you why. I'm Catch the Reading Bug. And I'm Christy Kidgerina. Welcome to our June edition of Squiz Kids Book Club and an extra special welcome to anyone who's listening for the very first time. Catch, once again, your crew has been busy reading and have told us what they think about this month's books. If the adults in your life have been following us on Facebook or Instagram, you might already know what they are. Everyone else, get your listening ears ready because you're about to find out. You just need to find the right book to fall in love with reading and my crew of reviewers are here to help. Each month we feature two books, one that's aimed at kids in year three and up called a junior book and one for kids in year five and above called middle grades. This month's middle grades book is called Twitch and it's by author M.G. Leonard. So what are we waiting for? Let's hear about some books and get reading. Who from my crew is with us this month? Hi, my name is Leah. I'm 11 years old and I live in Melbourne. I want to hear what you've been reading lately that you want to review for us today. Tell us all about it. Take it away, Leah. This month's middle grade book. You are in the forest and you see a boy with some binoculars looking deep into the trees. You shift your gaze to where he's looking and you see a man with a beard and blue eyes. He's doing something mysterious, but you don't know what. You've just imagined a scene in the book I will be reviewing called Twitch by M.G. Leonard. The genre of this book is mystery, one of my favourites. The setting is mainly in the woods called Aves Wood. Twitch, the main character, lives in a small town called Bridvale, where he usually gets bullied because the only friends he has are birds. But it all changes one day when his biggest bully becomes his best friend and he meets a mysterious man. Twitch is a birder, someone who is a very serious bird watcher and knows how to identify birds and where to find rare ones. The problem in the story is that there is a robber, known as Robber Ryan on the loose, who wants his money that he stole from the bank back. Twitch is trying to unsolve the mystery of where the money, five million dollars, could be, and who is Billy, the mysterious man who has slowly become a friend to him. The ending was really satisfying, and the storyline keeps you on your toes, making you wonder what will happen next. The descriptions allow you to create a visualisation clearly. I really enjoyed reading this book, and I think you would too. What a great review! It sounds like that would be a great book to take outdoors and read under a tree, with birds chirping all around you, just to get you in the mood. We've stuck a link to video of M.G. Leonard reading from her book in the episode notes, so you can get a taste for yourself. Next up, we're going to hear from our junior reviewers. They've been reading The Wolves of Grey Coat Hall by Lucinda Gifford. The cover of this book is one of my all-time favourites. I agree. I'm so happy to have you. This month's junior book. Hi, my name is Caleb. I'm 10 years old and I live in Wagga Wagga. Hi, my name is Clara. I'm nine years old and I live in Sydney. Hi, my name is Oscar. I'm eight years old and I live in Adelaide. Hi, my name is Eden. I'm nine years old and I live in Sydney. Do you like suspenseful and exciting books? Do you like books about animals, family and adventure? If so, 
The Wolves of Greycoat Hall by Lucinda Gifford is the book for you. This book is about a family of wolves who, when they heard that wolves were being reintroduced to Scotland, decided to go there for a holiday to visit their ancestral homeland. Not everyone on the way will be nice, and some might even be downright mean. Will they give up or prevail? I highly recommend you read this book to find out. I won't give away too much, but it's about a young wolf called Boris who tries to buy a castle to save a village full of wildlife with the help of his family and a friend. The Greycoat family and friends unite to save the castle and keep it from the rich and greedy gang. You will learn about wolves and what they like to eat. For example, loads of cake and not carrots. One thing I liked about this book was its lovely illustrations. They give you an idea of how the setting is and the wonderful places they go. Without the pictures, it probably wouldn't be the same. If you are a fan of Roald Dahl books, you will absolutely adore The Wolves of Greycoat Hall. I think that it took some time to get into reading this book, but once it gets interesting, you will not want to put it down. I hope you like it, Squiz Kids. This is me signing off. Wow, guys! These wolves are adorable. We've stuck a link to some colouring pages and a template to make your own wolves mini book in the episode notes. They're a great school holiday boredom buster. Wow, sounds great. A special review from Catch's crew. Now Catch, your crew is growing all the time and they are super interesting humans who have lots of brilliant book ideas. Today, we're going to hear from Molly, who'll tell us about where and what she loves to read. Listen up, crew. Hi, my name is Molly. I'm 11 years old and I live in New South Wales. My favourite place to read is my bedroom because it's super soft, comfortable and peaceful. My favourite author is Morris Gleitzman because I feel like his writing can take you to another world. If I could only take two books to a desert island, I would choose The War That Saved My Life, and Into Thin Air, because those books are super interesting and fun to read. If I was going to write a book, I would make it about World War II, because I love learning about the history and the past of our world. Amazing! It's so great to slowly meet all my crew. Hatch, I'll bet there's lots of your crew thinking about what they're going to read over the school holidays. The books that your crew will be reading for next month are The Princess in Black by Dean Hale and Shannon Hale for junior readers and The Letterbox Tree by Rebecca Lim for middle grades. So get reading. Thank you so much to all our wonderful reviewers this month. You did such a great job. They sure did. It takes a bit of bravery to record your voice for more than 100,000 kids to listen to. You guys were awesome. Don't forget, if you want to join my crew of reviewers, just follow the links in your episode notes to apply. See you next month, crew. In the meantime, get out there and have a most excellent day. Over and out. Kids Book Club is proudly supported by Walker Books.